Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful monarch butterfly in watercolor. You won't believe how easy it is. If you want to follow along, stay tuned. The best part of this tutorial is that it uses next to no supplies. Everything I use will be listed in the description box below and I'll make a point of mentioning things as I use them. As always, you can find a free downloadable PDF of both a reference photo and a line drawing below as well. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off by taking care of all of the orange parts of the wings. This part is super easy because we don't have to be very careful about where we're painting as most of the wing will be covered with black paint. You do wanna be mindful of preserving the little white specks, but if you accidentally paint a white one orange, it's not gonna make or break the painting. I'm gonna use a wet and wet technique here so I can avoid hard line edges and so that I can create soft gradients of color. I'm going to mix Pyrrole Scarlet with Hansa Yellow Light to create a beautiful, vibrant, bright orange. From here, I will drop this mixture into the wet sections of my wings. When you have all four sections completed, let it dry. I'm going to go back in with the same mixture but just a bit more concentrated and repeat this process to begin building my values and gradients. Now I'm going to go in with a straight undiluted mixture of ivory black and fill in the rest of the wings. Be patient and take your time here to make sure you're getting crisp lines and not missing any of the little white flecks. I'm going to use the same mixture to paint the antenna of the butterfly as well as the legs. Now I'm going to mix this ivory black with a bit of my orange mixture to create a deeper brown color. I'm going to use this brown mix to paint the body so that there's a bit of separation between the body and the wings. Basically so it doesn't end up looking like a huge blob of black. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna move down to the shadow of the butterfly. I'll use the same ivory black, but this time I'm gonna dilute it right down. I'll start by wetting down my shadowed section, and then I will drop in this light gray mixture to build the values of my shadow. All right, we're all done. This is so lovely and it was so simple to do. I love this painting because you don't have to use orange for the wings. You can use your creative freedom and paint it any color or colors that you'd like. Let me know in the comments if you followed along and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps me to build my channel and to continue to provide you with these tutorials. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.